Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we will be making some acrylic place cards. They look like this blank, and um, they're from Amazon. They come shipped like this with a protective layer on each side. Um, so I will link those down below and also the fonts that I will be using today. Now that I am on my Cricut Design Space, I just have a new project open. I enter in the text that I need and then change it to the font that I want. And in this case, it is Bohemian Script, which I am linking this below. Now with most fonts, we have to ungroup, drag them together, and then weld them back together again. Um, I do have videos that go over this um, in greater explanation if you do need that. I will link that also below. Now for this event, there are um, 10 names that are needed, 10 place cards that are needed. And there's gonna be a sweetheart table where the bride and groom is sitting and then a guest table of eight for the bridal party. So I just need to design the rest of these names really quick. Once they are all designed, I enter in a little holder um, and then size it to the size that my hexagon is. This is just so I have a good idea of what the backing size is. Um, so I can just kind of eyeball these and play around with the size, um, which direction it's gonna be going on and just get that perfectly sized for that hexagon. Once that first one's ready, I just go through and do the rest of them. Now that I am ready to make my project, I just double check that everything is on there that is ready to be cut. And since I'm working with Oracle 651, I choose the premium outdoor vinyl setting. Okay, I am ready to add the vinyl onto my mat. Um, now one thing when I'm working with smaller, more intricate pieces, I like to use pretty much a brand new mat. That's just so it's super sticky. It's gonna be way easier to peel up um, the excess vinyl and all those little pieces that you won't be using. So once my project is ready to be weeded, which is basically just pulling all the excess vinyl up that we will not be using, um, I like to cut it into different sections just so it's easier to work with. If I leave it all together and I'm doing a bunch of names at once, I'm not going to necessarily notice if like one of the dots is missing in the eye or maybe if I peel up a whole name and I just don't even recognize it. So I do like working in rows. Um, it's much easier for me just to see every little detail. Once my project is completely weeded, it is ready for the transfer tape to be added on top of it. Um, this is going to act as our topping so we can peel it off the blue backing and then place it onto our hexagons. So when you are ready to peel the backing off of your acrylic, the easiest way that I can figure out is to hold it down on something flat and then use a sharp pair of tweezers, firmly press that into the protective layer to peel that up and off. Now I wanna do one of these just clear, um, just in case there are um, some people out there that want to use these for your wedding without the paint on it, um, I am going to have an example here for you. I didn't really press down the uh, side of that R very well, um, but you can see on the rest of them 
the transfer tape lifts up so super fast and easily. I just didn't really press this one down that great. Now I'm using a metallic copper paint for this project and just a sponge uh, paintbrush. I'm using a sponge paintbrush because I'm worried if I use a regular paintbrush that it's going to drip over the sides and I do not want that build up on the sides at all. I want it to be perfectly clean and sharp on the edge. I'm really just doing a quick coat. Um, these I'm kind of doing a diagonal, which I also plan on doing the names. That is how the first coat looks. Um, if that's how you wanted to leave it, that looks great. But I end up doing two more coats, so three coats total. And that is how it looks with the third coat. I'm gonna totally let these dry, flip them all over. So I'm adding the decal to the unpainted side. And then to do a bunch of these all at once, um, I just peel the decal from the backing. I'm just laying them straight on. And then I go back in uh, once they're all placed with my Craftopia um, little scraper tool. Um, and then I use the soft side on that to varnish the decal onto the acrylic. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for more DIY wedding related videos.